I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the fuel pump. My fuel pump failed. So I'm gonna create a jack. I've looked at different options online. The jacking points on this Buell is annotated by this triangle and uh, right here, triangle, and there's lines that go all the way across. The distance between those two is 11 inches, what I measured. The reason why these are loose is because I'm going to take this exhaust off and bead blast it tomorrow, repaint it, and jack the bike up. But I have to create, as you can see, it's round. You already know that. This is the jack I'm going to use. It's a Craftsman. I've had it for many years and it's very reliable. The distance between here and here is 13 inches on the Craftsman. So what I intend to do is make a little drawing here. So I figured I'd use that and throw it away anyway. So 13 inches right across. I'm gonna think I'm gonna use two by four, and then the 11 inches, obviously the jacking points. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I've got some leeway in between here and here, so I'm gonna kind of cut it short and put it on that, and you will see the end product when I'm done. Okay, so I went down to Home Depot. I bought one 2 by 4 by 8 feet long and got it for $4.30. They cut it for me for free. The cuts were two 13 inch cuts for my main. My cross, I modified it because I realized that I could go. The max width on the bottom, which is 13 and a half, and then the exhaust side, I went with 12 and a quarter so that I'd have enough clearance for the exhaust. Um, but yeah, I, I think that's perfect because I'll be right about here, and then I'll have plenty of room so you know you don't damage your exhaust. The one thing I did not consider is. This will not fit underneath a stock bike. Bro, the bike is too low. So I had to bust out my two jacks and jack it up. There is another way. You can get pieces of wood. And if you're strong enough, you can roll it up on those pieces of wood to elevate the bike. to get. But you're going to need two guys, obviously. Because one guy is going to have to hold the bike while you're building this contraption. What I intend to do is just use these wood blocks here stabilize it that way I'll be obtaining my lift joint points which is here and here I'll be all set let's see how this works so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, screw these down and put some glue in the inside here make it really strong and we'll go from there and I'll show you how this is done, my brothers. Maybe I marble hi my friend to you. Okay, this is the finished product. It looks like it's working. It's centered. It ain't the prettiest thing in the world, but it works and it costs four dollars and thirty cents. It's um uh, I don't know. You know, I made this special so that I would clear the exhaust. I think you ought to do the same because you might run into some problems and damage that exhaust outlet. What's really funny with this is uh, in the back section here, the front looks wider than the back because these two are 13 inches. So as you can see, it's kind of like crooked like that. But this is what's my adjuster. Uh, the other side is straight. This side is the one that I, I put a little, a little uh, angle, a little English on there. To You can do whatever you want. I'm just giving you ideas. 
I was brainstorming this thing, thinking I need a bandsaw to cut out all these things. And you can just do it like this, or you can do it any way you want. But like I said, you're going to have to jack it up. I wish you luck. And many, many fine rides. This bike is going to be a gem once I'm done. I bought a brand new belt the other day from uh, the Cycle City over here, Kawasaki. Harley Davidson dealer. It's about $200. This belt is still good, but I'm not going to chance it because this is a 2007. And the bike's only got 5,000 miles, but this thing goes out on you on the freeway. You're not going to be a happy camper. Follow.